putting this in black and white with boxes. You can't get any simpler of a diagram than this. And I want people to understand this is what I mean when I say a one-to-one -one hedge. Remember when I say that I have a spot account like Coinbase and I have a futures account like BitMEX and I allocate, you know, and I separate the, the accounts from each other. So let's say the spot account, I have 0 0.5 BTC. And then my futures account, I have 0 0.5 BTC. So uh, when prices go up, I gain in the spot account. Woohoo! When prices, I'm short in the futures account, which I've shorted, uh, I'm not losing anything. I've just locked in my value. So when prices went, you know, from the 5,000 and 7,000, the area I was buying uh, before, and we dropped all the way down to that 4,000 level, and I went 100% allocation on the spot, and I even doubled my investment in the, in the spot account on Bitcoin. Um, you know, there you go. And then I hedged, you know, uh, through the futures account, and I'm 100% hedged on there. I've just locked in the value. So the gains that I had from below, I've locked in as we went above 16,000. Now we're all the way in the 20,000 range. It went outside my um, uh, expected area. I mean, we just blown past it. Okay, that happens. Uh, but I'm not losing anything because I've got it hedged with this. So my longs over here are hedged by my shorts over here. So they cancel each other out, right? Simple mathematics, negative, positive, plus one, negative one equals zero. This is very simple for you to think about. And I've always said this and I've always hedged. So I don't understand where the confusion is. If anybody went over and just created one account and that's all they have, uh, I don't know what to say. I, I'm just dumbfounded. And there seems to be a few people that are under that uh, but then they're not listening to me and I, I can't do any more than I did. One minute you guys are praising me and next minute you're freaking out. Uh, there's a disconnect here and I, I'm, I'm confused as to what it possibly could be. But that's basically what a, a hedge is, a one-to-one. -one. Uh, you have separate accounts. I mean, I've done exceptionally well, you know, uh, over time. And we'll see what we end up on 2020. Uh, we're coming to the end of the year. I'm going to have to do the calculations. But, you know, if I do over 100% a year, and maybe some years I do ex exceptionally well, you know, if, if you started with 100K and it went up to here, like in the beginning, 400K, and, uh, you know, and on and on, 150, and let's say over 125 for this, you know, it grows and it's exponentially doubling. Um I, very few people can actually do that. I mean, you've seen my trades. Uh, I've been right most of the time. Right now, I'm, uh, you know, I, you get your different points where things get exaggerated, but they uh, ultimately, odds are it's going to come back to a balance point, and we'll see. But anyway, let's go to the update. Here you go. You guys have a great week, and I'll talk to you next time. Have a great holiday, I should say. Merry Christmas, and uh, here you go. I am doing an update on Bitcoin right here. And let me go over to it daily so you can see it better. All right, so there we go. There's Bitcoin. It's exaggerated. I don't have to tell you. It's blown past 20,000. It's already in the mid 24, 23,000 range. And it's just completely exaggerated. So where do we go from here? Um, nothing has changed. I am still holding out. I'm still holding the shorts. I am hedged one-to-one. -one. I explained just now in the beginning of the video. I, I don't really have to go over this, but a negative cancels out a positive. You know, there's no risk. You're just not making as much. We didn't. I, I'm not making as much on this move. Um, and that's all there is to it. But I'm still going to look for numbers that go all the way back under here and maybe even ultimately back down to that 8,000. The one thing that people don't understand about exaggerations is they occur. Just like back when we went to the 14,000 um, area over here, uh, nobody expected, you know, everybody was like, oh my God, I can't believe I'm short. 
Nobody expected us to drop back under 4,000, um, but we did. And all my orders filled. And I went 100% long, and I even doubled my long exposure on Bitcoin. And then we go all the way back up here. Look at that. Now, of course, we're exaggerating all the way to the upside. Everything is an exaggeration in Bitcoin. Um, don't care. Uh, do I care that, you know, uh, I'm not making as much? My profits are locked all the way from here all the way up to the 16,000 range. And I've missed everything in there? No. There's nothing you do. That's, you know, but I'm just hedged. Uh, so anything that I've gained and uh, anything that I've lost is cancels each other out. And I, I don't know what people don't understand about that, and it really bothers me. If you want 100% long exposure against your Bitcoin, you can do that. You're, you know, all I do is I show you my trades and I give you my thinking and, and signals. That's it. I'm not a man money manager. I can't go over and tell you what to do with your money. Can't do that. Um, if I was a financial advisor and if I had a fund and I was able to control the money, um, that would be great. I would prefer doing that, but I, I don't do that. That's not my thing. And, uh, uh, you know, it would require licensing and all kinds of bullshit like sales. And, and uh, that's a whole different ball game. And, um, I actually should do it because it, it's worth a lot more money than just giving signals and um, and it, you know I'm, I'm really good at the returns. I don't have to tell you, um, but if where do we go for here on Bitcoin? Let's let's go back to that. Um, again, I'm looking for numbers that go all the way down here, and even on a retracement from the highs, if the gold posts have moved. Uh, the numbers are still at some point going to have to go down to here, to this 12,000 level. On a short-term basis, uh, with the exaggeration and the geometry that we have, here, let me show you this. I've got numbers that go back to the 17,500 range. Uh, I have nothing to do. Do I wish to take out more shorts and whatnot? No, because of the fact that I, I would be in na uh, naked exposure. Um, but if I had more Bitcoin, I would short it at these levels and look for this one here to close it out. And, um, but I don't really need to do that. I, I've got other things. Uh, Bitcoin is very reflective of the exaggeration of the marketplace because of what's going on with the election, um, uh, COVID-19. Um, uh, let's look at Tesla. Here, I recently started shorting more Tesla, even I've doubled my exposure. I don't even want to tell you on Tesla up here. And, you know, so now I'm really shorting and I'm putting more size into it. This is scary, right? No. If this drops all the way back down to here, I'm going to clean up and I'm going to have a very good year. And let me tell you, there's no way that this is not going to collapse at some point. Um, it has nothing but air. Uh, I've never seen a company so overvalued. But... We're living in crazy times. I mean, hell, we got a president in the United States that's talking about instituting martial law so he, he can uh, avoid leaving office. What the hell? That's just crazy. So everything's nuts right now. At some point, sanity will return, and I will likely do very well off of this. But I trade the opportunities that exist. Uh, I see the, the volume and so forth. Once they're added to the S&P come tomorrow, um, it's going to be a very interesting month for January and February. Uh, you know, and again, I'm looking for the big pullback in Bitcoin. I understand the goalposts have moved, and I'll update you concurrently, you know, as time goes on. Um, but that has to be resolved, too, so we'll, we'll see. Stay tuned for that. But other than that, um, that's where the markets are. I'll go on about other ones. You can tell that uh, I had somebody messaged me on SNX. Uh, let me see. Here we are. It's doing very well. So all my buying on that, uh, it's back up here. Uh, Hex, for those who got involved in Hex, um, 
you know, this was a great buy and look at the target right there on a percent, uh, you know, I'm not going to even say anything, but if you're able to get involved in that, um, and again, uh, the differentials, BTC, not as exciting because BTC had a big move and when you have a contra move first here, but still good trade and ETH more interesting, uh, verse if you can't get USD, and I don't have to tell you on a percentage basis, this is looking really good. And you can see the geometry that I'm looking at from you know that perspective. Uh, what else is out there? Uh, silver. Silver's made a break above here. And what do I do? I, I'm not doing anything. I just exited 50% of my position. I could buy it back with this break of the trend line and see if it pulls back and then go forward again back for the numbers that I'm looking for that go all the way up to uh, the 30s range. But I, I'm happy with where I am right now and I'm, uh, I've got a lot of cash on the sidelines and I'm just going to take it easy and wait to s let the exaggeration play itself out. I'm more interested in seeing what happens with Bitcoin and this right now. Uh, more than anything because we're at such ridiculous numbers but there's a key fundamental reason why and, and things have kind of changed uh, and if I want to I could exit the short and uh, but I don't believe I need to at this moment um, so I'll just let it ride uh, but if fundamentally things do change and we get numbers that go all the way above um, the 30,000 and, and on then uh, I'm going to have to, but again, one to one, and very clear that basically means that I'm not gaining, but I'm not losing, and I don't know how to repeat that. You know, I've done this for so long. Um, to any of those who did not follow that, well, that's that's your deal. I, I don't control your money. You control your own money, and um, what risk you take is up to you. I show you my charts, I give you my ideas and my trade ideas and whatnot, but I'm not a money manager, I'm not a financial advisor, I don't tell others what to do with their money. I just go over and share my ideas on what I see occurring and that's you know basically what, what I do. End of story. Um, other than that, I will update you again next week. I hope everybody has a happy holiday and uh, Merry Christmas. And I'll see you guys soon.